Sound propagation in a temperature gradient. The air temperature over a lake decreases linearly with height after sunset, since air cools faster than water. Part A. If the temperature at the surface is 25 degrees Celsius and the temperature at a height of 300 meters is 5 degrees Celsius, how long does it take sound to rise 300 meters directly upward? And uh, V is equal to 331 square root of 1 plus Tc over 273 where Tc is temperature in degrees centigrade. Part B. At a height of 300 meters, how far does sound travel horizontally in the same time interval? The change in wave speed with altitude due to the nocturnal temperature inversion over the lake gives rise to a change in direction of sound waves refraction. Now, <clears throat> we are given that temperature increase uh, basically uh, is going to change linearly over the uh, surface of the lake. At the surface is 25 degrees C, at 300 meters is 5 degrees C, so it will be a linear decrease. So temperature as a function of height y is T0 plus Ay, where T0 is the temperature at y is equal to 0. So at the surface of the lake, where y is equal to 0, we find that T0 is 25 degrees Celsius. At y is equal to 300 meters, uh, we have a temperature of 5 degrees Celsius, which is T0, 25, plus uh, 300 times A, where A is our uh, constant here for the linear change with height. And this gives us A is equal to minus 20 divided by 300, which is minus 1 over 50. Okay, so basically we see that temperature decreases linearly over the surface of the lake as 25 minus 1 over 15 times Y. Now, the propagation speed of sound is dy dt uh, and the sound velocity changes with temperature according to the given relation 331 1 plus Tc over 273 square root. Okay. So the, uh, the time it takes for the sound to travel a distance of 300 meters is integral of dt, which is integral from 0 to 300 dy divided by dy dt. So we can write it this way. Now, this is integral from 0 to 300 dy divided by 331 1 plus tc temperature in degrees celsius that is uh, 25 minus 1 over 15 y divided by 273 square root so in order to perform this integral Let's have let x square is equal to 1 plus uh, 25 minus 1 over 15 times y divided by 273. So if we differentiate this, we find 2x dx is equal to minus 1 over 15 times 273 dy. All right. So we find that dy is minus 30 because it's 2 times 15 
thirty uh, times two hundred seventy three uh, times dx. This is going to give us minus eight thousand one hundred ninety. So it was two x dx. So let me do this uh, properly. Minus 30 times 273 x dx, which is minus 8190 x dx. So we had an x dx here, we're multiplying it with this. All right, so the time interval delta t is the integral from 0 to y equals 0 to y equals 300 minus 8190 x dx that's dy divided by 331 x so x's will cancel so this will become a minus 8100 90 divided by 331 integral of dx is x uh, so what is x uh, x is the square root of this quantity so we have 1 plus 25 minus 1 over 15 300 divided by 273 square root minus 1 plus 25 divided by 273 square root uh, so the total time interval delta t then becomes minus 8190 divided by 331 1 plus uh, 5 over uh, 273 square root and minus 1 plus 25 over uh, 273 square root so this becomes minus 8190 divided by 331 278 over 273 square root minus 298 over uh, 273 square root and the final answer is 0 0.883 seconds now part b for the horizontal propagation of uh, sound uh, at a distance of 300 meters uh, from the surface, we have 331 uh, times square root 1 plus 5 over 273. So this gives us a propagation speed of 334 meters per second. So what is the horizontal distance uh, traveled by sound? It is v times delta t because it's the horizontal distance the temperature is not changing anymore we have a constant speed so this would be 334 times 0 0.883 which gives us for the horizontal distance 295 meters okay so in this problem, we're talking about sound propagation in a temperature gradient. Uh, over a lake, temperature decreases linearly with height such that uh, after sunset, 
it's 25 degrees on the water level at the surface and at a height of 300 meters it's 5 degrees celsius we know that the propagation speed of sound increases with temperature according to uh, this expression uh, and uh, we want to know how long does it take for the sound to rise 300 meters directly upward and at a height of 300 meters how far does sound travel horizontally in the same time interval so this change in the wave speed with altitude due to the nocturnal temperature inversion over the lake gives rise to a change in the direction of sound waves which is refraction so we have a different uh, travel uh, distance in the horizontal range and we have a different travel distance in the vertical range so you can see that we have an overall change in the direction of sound waves that is refraction so uh, first of all we say that temperature is t0 plus a, a constant times y uh, so and we put the boundary conditions here y equals zero the surface temperature 300 meters 5 degrees celsius so we find temperature as a function of distance from the surface on the y-axis the propagation speed for sound waves traveling directly upward is dy dt. The time interval is integral of delta dt or which is uh, dy over dy over dt. So it's dy divided by the uh, speed of sound uh, in the interval 0 to 300 meters. So we do this integration and we, uh, we can perform a trick here. We can call uh, the uh, expression inside the square root x square and then when we perform the integral we obtain the total uh, time interval and because the propagation speed at 300 meters is a constant uh, it's not uh, changing with temperature uh, we can just substitute 300 meters here so we obtain the propagation speed of sound to be 334 meters per second so uh, delta x is v times delta t so we can just multiply it with this time interval to obtain 295 meters